this is Bertala Meshko and you're watching the channel of the medical teachers. Hi, this is Bertala Meshko, the medical futurist. On the Medical Futurist channels, we talk a lot about the far future of healthcare and medicine and how all these things will be shaped by new technologies. But in this special event, we were curious about how kids look at the future. Are they, are they more future-oriented or they are more reluctant like adults? We don't know, but let's find out together. So today we have Lini, Sophie and Bruno with us. What was the last time you had to go to see a doctor? Can you remember? No, um, probably when I was, uh, la la well, last winter when I had the cold. Okay, and you had to go to see a doctor or the doctor came to see you? I had to go to the doctor. Okay, what if, let's play a game here, what if you are 50 years old, far away in the future? Do you think you will still have to go to see a doctor? Or they will come to see you or something else? I think they will invent some kind of technology so I can actually just sit at home. So the doctor will stay at the hospital okay. and you will stay at home. So um, you will be just talking over your TV or a phone or a tablet, whatever mm -hmm. is there. I, I, I love the idea. What if you have to measure something? Like, you know, my heart rate, my blood uh, pressure or something. There are like these smart watches what you wear. Okay. So what if I told you that we can do an ultrasound imaging right here, right now? That is creepy. Okay. <laughs> Let's try. So let me show you something. If you look at it, that is the inner part of your hand right here. So and for that is the bone? two and a half centimeters deep, I can look into your hand and I can look through your hand with this right here. Yeah, that's the bone. So that's it. What if I told you that's just a small machine and with this, if you hold it like this, there are two metal parts, your thumb here and that goes here, um, I can see how your heart is working, what's your heart rate, blood pressure, what, what kind of, what percentage of oxygen can be found in your blood, your body temperature and all these? I would say that's amazing. Let's try it then. <laughs> Put your right, hold it with one hand, two hands. One thumb goes here. The other part goes to your palm like this. That's it. And just hold it for a few seconds. That's, that's called the ECG, electrocardiogram of your heart. It, it shows how you, if your heart is functioning well, it's your heart rate. It's not so high actually, you seem quite, you know, well rested. Uh, it can measure what percentage of uh, blood, uh, oxygen can be found in your blood, what's your blood pressure, it can measure your body temperature and all these in one device. Wow. And I hate the fact that it's so big. What do you think this thing is for? Um. It's for the hand. Okay. If it's maybe broken, um, this will put the bones back and f like kind of like push them together. That's excellent. That's what happens. This is it's called three D printing. Oh yeah. Can you imagine how it works? Yeah. So um, you put a kind of material in a box, kind of stuff, and. You basically um, tell the printer to with these uh, plastic stripes to like form this kind of like it's going around, round, round. Man, you you know much more than you should know. Exactly, that's how really printing works. Bruno, you're excellent. How about drugs, medications? Um, is it too? It might be. Does yeah. it sound too futuristic to print out medications? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Maybe in how many years, what do you think? 40, many? 30. Oh, 40, okay. Um, I might have something about this here, in this small bag. A company in the United Kingdom prints out medications. These tablets, you can see, also see the, the lines here, how the 3D printer worked on printing out the medication. So it's not in 30 years? It's not in 30 years. Do you think uh, 3D printing drugs is possible? Mm, yeah, it could be possible. It could be possible. Like these things here, 
these medications are 3D printed. What do you think about this? I think what is it? It's a teddy. Yeah. And what can you find the, can you read the name right there? Mira. It's Mira. It's, it was made by the company that made these breast, these casts uh, for my daughter Mira. Um, can you see the lines here? How it's being how it was printed out again layer by layer? Yeah. It took them a day to print this out. But that's how 3D printers work. They print out wow. anything layer, almost anything layer by layer. How about printing out organs? Like my heart, liver. Kidney. I don't I don't think oh, that, 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 that sounds too futuristic to be true. Yeah, maybe in a few thousand years. A few thousand years. Yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's, to what? me it sounds very strange. Okay. What if I, at home, what if in the future I just print out my medications and I print out a few, you know, casts and technologies for myself to measure health parameters and vital signs? Wouldn't the cost of a 3D printer be really much or would it cost? It's expensive for now, but yeah. even the cost of 3D printers is, is going down, you know, gradually. Yeah, but, but iPhone is going up. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, by the way. <laughs> even the most smartphones are going down, but the iPhone is excellent in doing that to improve price over any features. It was an amazing experience for me to learn about how they think about the far future. And I was surprised by some of the answers, but even some of them will come to Mars with me and come back after that. So thank you for watching.